Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com keeping you updated on Hurricane Irene. Today is August 24, 2011. Right now we got a lot of problems as Hurricane Irene has reached Category 3 strength. We're taking a look at this because the Turks and the Caicos Islands and the Bahamas are going to continue to be affected by the storm in the next day or two. And uh, this very dangerous storm is dropping a ton of rain. Let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center website here real quick. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Wednesday, August 24th, this is advisory number 16 alpha from the National Hurricane Center. And uh, as you hear in the background, I'm keeping an eye on this with the Weather Channel here as well. And uh, this advisory 16 alpha says maximum sustained winds are at 100 knots or at 115 miles per hour with, a, again, a Category 3 strength. Minimum central pressure of our storm is at 957 millibars. And if you're tracking it with us here at MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com, its location is exactly at 21.9 degrees north and 73.3 degrees west. This was actually recorded from Air Force plane and the NOAA plane. So again, this is information directly from the NOAA and Air Force plane and uh, directly through the National Hurricane Center. Movement is west-northwest at 8 knots or 9 miles per hour. And let's take a look at the path of our storm real quickly here because we're going to have a lot of worries in the next couple of days. Again, as it continues to move through the Bahamas, let's not forget about those people down there in the Bahamas. We got FEMA working on those people down there, keeping a close eye, maybe possibly getting evacuations out at this time. So we're going to have to keep a close eye. If you're urged to evacuate folks, do it. Right now, FEMA's on the uh, TV here with the uh, Weather Channel, keeping a close eye on this major Category 3 hurricane. So again, guys, stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com for the latest. And if you're in the Bahamas and you're urged to evacuate, do as much as you can to leave. And I know it's pretty hard to, but do as much as you can. So we're taking a look at the radar image here from, looks like the NOAA website as well. I'm going to bring that in to you and take a look at that. Very nice, uh, well-defined storm system continuing to move west-northwest at 9 miles per hour. And again, guys, we're going to have to keep a close eye for the Houston seaboard. seaboard. Now, Florida seems to be in the all-clear right now with a new path that actually has been updated by the National Hurricane Center. And uh, south, southern Florida and all these areas have been uh, actually in the all-clear. They might still see some strong surf waves, but again, that's expected from this ma major hurricane. Now, going into the information... I'm actually going to talk about some regional regional hurricane warnings that have been issued and some storm surge updates. Uh, according to the regional hurricane warnings, south, southeastern, central, and northwestern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands are under hurricane warnings. We're talking about major hurricane warnings as the storm is packing 115 mile per hour winds. Rainfall in this storm has already been seen. Puerto Rico and the Hispaniola, another one to three inches ex is expected. Bahamas, Turks, and the Caicos Islands, that's six to 12 inches ex expected with the storm. These rains could cause life-threatening mudslides and flash floods in elevated terrain. So again, guys, keep a very close eye with this storm. And we're now we're talking about storm surge warnings. Storm surge, this is very critical. Central and northwestern Bahamas, seven to 11 feet above normal tidal levels. Southeastern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands five to eight feet above normal tidal levels. Northern Haiti two to four feet and the surge will be accommodated by a large damaging waves on the coastline. So again a very dangerous storm system again for the Bahamas if you're urged to evacuate please do so and uh, take those warnings evacuation warnings very seriously. And I hope you all are preparing for the storm up in the eastern seaboard all the way up from uh, Northern Carolina all the way up into New York. I hope you all are very much uh, prepared for the storm. Make the necessary precautions. And if, again, you guys urge to evacuate, you must do so as well. Do not take any chances at all. So, again, thank you very much for watching MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Stay tuned for the latest on the storm. I'll continue to keep you posted in the evening time as well. I'll do another update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.